Hi friends, this book is called Don't Let the Pigeons Stay Up Late. Okay, good, it's you, listen. It's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeons stay up late. Thanks. And then he's leaving. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No. Humph. He kind of mad. Humph. I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Should be very educational. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five more minutes in the grand scheme of things? Yawn, he's yawning. What, what? I'm not tired. Look, he's so upset. I'm not tired. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. He's trying to do anything he can do so he can stay up later. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. Hey, hey, ho, ho. This here pigeon just won't go. Please. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? These are all the different ways that he's using so he could stay up later. I think I've done that when I was little too. <laughs> Yawn, he's yawning. Okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm yawn 110% awake. You haven't heard the yawn last of me. Yawn. Maybe he snores. Great work, thanks. Good night. Oh, <laughs> he's sleeping and he's dreaming of the hot dog party that he wants to have. See where he's sleeping? He's having his hot dog party in his dream. Do you ever have fun dreams at night? Sometimes you think of something that you want to do at school or, or you wake up and you remember something you dreamed. That's what this book is kind of about. All right, see you later, friends.